In this video, we will show you how to troubleshoot macOS don't boot after we try to install on the VirtualBox. This statement is from Evil Shadow that he did everything but never booted. We also ever uh, experience something like this. And this video, we will try to give all information about that. First, open your Oracle VirtualBox and create the machines. In here, I, I provide the script to execute on our CMD and the name is suitable with this name on this script. And click next and allocate the memory. For example, I put 7 gigabytes. And this is the important again. If you allocate the disk space, don't bigger than your free disk space on your computer because on my C, this is just 63. So I put a lower and then in here I give 40 and then click create. And this is uh, the troubleshooting. Let's choose settings. In some things, you need to select the chipset into PWIX3 rather than using the default. And this is for troubleshooting number one. And let's allocate the processor. And then the storage, we will try using macOS Catalina in here. And display. Okay, this is not impact for uh, Mac OS don't boot in this case. Okay. Okay, we just uh, try to uh, change our chipset from the default to PWIX3 uh, and then click OK. And click start. In here, we can click start on Catalina. Voila, you can see here. The Mac OS X wants boot. And this is the number second for troubleshoot. You can turn off your machine because it will not boot forever. <laughs> Choose settings. On your machines, refer back to the default type set in here and then click OK. You can see there. This is the troubleshoot number one and number two. You can select different chipset. Now, the appearance is different uh, with uh, later with a uh, previous. Then, in here, if you type install dot nsh, is also not recognized. So you need to type exit in here and you will go to this boot menu. I will put this skill so you can uh, see bigger in here. Then choose boot maintenance manager and choose boot from files. Then you must find the boot.avi files. Every Mac OS is have difference the location, so you just uh, be patient to find one by one on the uh, directory or folder in here. And uh, usually, boot.avi uh, exists on uh, Mac OS data or on the system. In this case, boot.avi exists on my systems library core services, and this is the boot.avi. And hit enter in the after you hit enter there is nothing happen this is the troubleshoot uh, number three you can turn off your virtual machines and uh, i think this is uh, will make or will be our last troubleshoot choose the acceleration on the systems and you can select none 
or you can select Hyper-V if none is work. Okay, this is I choose none first. If this if this uh, showing uh, any message, let's see. Let's start again. And click switch. Okay, type exit again in here. Exit. So uh, you need to execute uh, boot.avi files. That's all. This is uh, the information maybe uh, you very, very need for it. Our uh, platform is not supported on the Mac OS on Catalina version. So, uh, how can you solve this problem? You need to uh, using Mac OS X in the lower version. In my platform, is supported on Sierra versions. So, you need to find the Mac OS X that uh, is supported on your platform. But, uh, this is not appear if uh, we don't try to troubleshoot. Okay, that's the information. If this also not appear, if you want to uh, see the evidence, you can also try to make uh, this acceleration into hyperfi. If blank, you can set none. Okay, then you will see the message. The final message of our Catalina version is not supported on our platform. So we need to uh, using uh, Mac OS that support. In here, I'm using Sierra. That's all. The information and the troubleshoot. Uh, maybe this is very, very helpful for you. And thanks for watching.